There's Molly and Max and Susie and Flash and the elegant Countess de Cone. They travel the world, but they seldom go out. Well, how can this be? You're about to find out. Stay for some tea, meet the whole family. You're certain to find them at home. When Susie Sponge has big news, it's never really that big, and I always end up with a sore head. <laughs> this time, it's the biggest news you've ever heard. The relatives are coming and staying the night, so they'll be bringing their toothbrushes. Visitors! That's good news, Susie, but hardly big news. Wait till you find out how many toothbrushes are coming. Two? Uh-uh. Uh, three? Try saying ten. Ten? Is that all? Ten! Is that big news or not? There's Grandma and Grandpa, four grown-ups and four little toothbrushes. Well, where are we going to put them all? Oh, uh, the little toothbrushes can stay with us in the toothbrush house. You'll never fit them all in. Ten toothbrushes will never cope. We'll have to. We can't have those toothbrushes going away with the wrong impression of our bathroom. Precisely. This is going to take some careful planning. Now, let's check the sleeping arrangements. We can fit two in this glass. Check. Grandma and Grandpa can sleep with me. Check. And two can sleep in this jar. We can't have toothbrushes sleeping in a jar. Whatever will they think? This visit is going to be a complete disaster. We can disguise it with tissue paper. <laughs> we'll disguise the glass as well. Then they won't know the difference. Good idea. Either they'll think they're sleeping in two glasses or two jars. We've got a 50-50 chance. Oh, what about the little toothbrushes? They're sleeping with us, Flash. We've rigged up the hair net as a hammock. Good. That takes care of that. Check. What next? I think we should smile. Smile? They're here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Now, who wants to go exploring? Me! 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 Come on! Yay! Hey! No running on the vanity unit! Sorry, Flash! I've bought you some towels. This is the best organised bathroom we've ever visited. It's not usually like this, I can assure you. Just say. Ooh, sorry, Flash. Now, here's where you'll be sleeping. Look, we even get sheets. We could only find one glass. The other's a jar, I'm afraid. A jar? <laughs> Very clever. The last time we had visitors, some had to sleep in an empty cardboard box. <laughs> I'll check the little toothbrushes. Right. It's high time you little toothbrushes were fast asleep. But we're thirsty. Right. Get a drink and then go to sleep. Yay! And no noise. <laughs> Visitors. <laughs> we all had a great time, Flash. Thanks to you. We never visited such a friendly bathroom. We must do it again sometime. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Goodbye, thank you Goodbye. for having us. Bye. 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 <sighs> Glad that's over. We had a wonderful time, Flash. Didn't you? I had too much to do to even think of having a good time. Ten toothbrushes are nine toothbrushes too many. Have I got big news for you? Not again. There's a family reunion next week and there'll be 40 toothbrushes staying overnight. Forty? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> There's Molly and Max and Susie and Flash. And the elegant Countess de Cone. They travel the world, but they seldom go out. Well, how can this be? You're about to find out. Stay for some tea, meet the whole family. You're certain to find them at home. Yeah. Max, look, a spider web. I've always wondered.
wondered what a spider web would look like close up. Come on! You two are certainly up early. Flash, we found a spider web. A spider web, eh? That's fine. Just make sure you don't find a spider. <laughs> Look, Max, it's so neat and so carefully made. How does the spider do it? Spiders spend many years studying at the spiderweb school. Everyone knows that. But it's so carefully made. They use spiderweb plans. It's not hard to spin a web like that if you have a proper plan. Oh, is it strong? Strong enough to hold an elephant. Look. <laughs> See? Sticky too. Hey, I'm stuck. Oh, be careful, Flash. You'll break the spider web. But I can't stay stuck to the spider web. The spider might think I'm lunch. Flash! Yeah! For goodness sake, who's spoiling my beauty sleep now? It's Flash, Countess. He got stuck to the spider web. Oh, what a pity. It's not my fault. I didn't know it was sticky. Look, Flash, now you've upset the spider. Now you'll have to spin the spider a new web. Me? You said all you needed was a proper plan. So I did. A plan. Tell Susie to meet me down on the throne. She must know something about plans. If a spider can do it, just think of the web we'll spin. <coughs> yes, just think. Max, round up all the dental floss you can find. <coughs> Flash, Susie, when do we start building the spider web? Max has found heaps of dental floss. We can't start until we've finished the design, Molly. And designing spider webs takes a lot of planning. Flash likes the squarish one. That's mine. I prefer the roundish one. That's hers. We can't decide. Max and I think you should mix them up and have squarish bits and roundish bits. Let's start spinning that web. Right, Flash. I've tied this end to the tap. Excellent. And I've tied this end of the spider web to the drawer. There's a spider web in my drawer. It's our spider web, Countess. Think you can lasso the curtain rail with the dental floss, Max? Now, who can I send up to catch it? Molly's got that end, Susie's got her end, and Max is throwing the dental floss, so I guess it will have to be... Oh, me. Right, Max. Throw me the dental floss. We did it, Flash. The spider webs up. Oh, all I can say is I'm glad I'm not a spider. Spinning spider webs for a living is not my cup of tea. It's a good spider web, though. The best I've seen. That bit's a bit crooked, Flash. Except for that crooked bit. I bet even a spider doesn't spin a perfect web on its first go. Here comes the spider. I bet it will be pleased. <laughs> I don't think the spider's very impressed. It's laughing. But it's a perfect web except for the crooked bit. I'll take it down. What about the spider? I guess spiders are hard to please. It'll have to get a web from somewhere else. Oh, poor spider. Clever spider, I say. Look, it's spinning a new web. So that's how it does it. I wonder if it needs our help. Somehow, I don't think so, Flash. <laughs> <laughs> There's Molly and Max and Susie and Flash and the elegant Countess de Cone. They travel the world, but they seldom go out. Well, how can this be? You're about to find out. Stay for some tea, meet the whole family. You're certain to find them at home. I'm going fishing. The tide's in down in the bath. Why are you whispering? I don't want Susie Sponge to know. She always laughs at me whenever I go fishing. <gasps> Why? She says there are no fish in the bath, but I know there's a big fish down there just waiting to be hooked, and today I'm going to catch it. Can we come too? Oh, okay. 
Just don't make any noise. We don't want Susie Sponge laughing at all of us. Oh, and where are you all off to? We're going fishing. <laughs> See? Max and I are sure we saw a ripple. Just the morning breeze rippling across the bathwater. We'll just see for ourselves. Sorry to have bothered you, Susie Sponge. I think I'll come too. I'm sure to catch a fish. I'm bringing my own. Plastic fish? All my fishing trip is ruined. Yahoo! Another plastic fish. Fishing's fun. Plastic fish? Fooey! I'm fishing for the real thing. But I keep telling you, Flash, there are no fish in this bath. We'll see about that. <gasps> I've hooked one. <laughs> it's a big one, too. I don't believe it. <laughs> it's a face cloth. Well, I'm staying put until I catch one. We'll be here forever. Don't lean out too far, Max. You'll fall in. Max saw a fish. A big fish. A fish that big would be a whale. Max is making it all... Up. Fish! Ah! I've hooked a fish! Did you see that? I knew there was a fish in this bar. It was a goldfish. It's our goldfish. Look, it's fallen out of the goldfish bowl. It's still a fish, Susie, and I've hooked it. It looks more like it caught you, Flash. And if we don't get it back into the fish bowl, it'll disappear down the drain when the bath gets emptied. <laughs> get the goldfish into the bowl? I can't even get it into the boat. We'll have to net it. We can use the hair net. We'll grab it next time the fish takes us past it. Here we go. Grab it, Max! <laughs> hey, you're supposed to net the fish, not me. Here comes the goldfish. Quick, drop the net into the water. <laughs> Caught it! Hoist away! This sure is a big fish, Flash! It's the biggest fish I've ever caught in the bath, Molly. It must be a record. Right, lower away. In fact, I reckon I've set a lot of records catching this goldfish. How come? <clears throat> First, I've got the record for the only fish ever caught in the bath. We already know that. And the biggest fish, and the smallest fish. Here he goes, he'll never stop. The tallest fish and the shortest fish, the smartest fish and the dumbest fish, the happiest fish and the saddest fish. <coughs> hey, where are you all going? I haven't finished yet. In fact, I've only started. We're going fishing. <laughs> <laughs> There's Molly and Max. And Susie and Flash and the elegant Countess de Cone. They travel the world, but they seldom go out. Well, how can this be? You're about to find out. Stay for some tea, meet the whole family. You're certain to find them at home. This straight, Max. You're sure you saw a monster in the bathroom? Mm, that's not so good. What sort of a monster was it? Ah, oh, a singing monster. That's good. A singing monster isn't much to worry about. Flash, Max meant a noisy monster. That's not so good. What else can you tell us about this monster, Max? It had big bug eyes. <laughs> A big, bug-eyed, noisy monster? That's bad. It could be anywhere just waiting to pounce. We need a plan. We should split up and search for Max's monster. I 
my bag's going with Susie Sponge. We can search the floor beneath the window. Then Max can come with me and we'll search up there on the vanity unit. Flash, the monster's down there. Oh, all right. Bug-eyed, noisy monsters always spoil your night. This bathroom floor's so messy, the bug-eyed, noisy monster could be anywhere. We have to keep searching. The monster could be behind that box. We'll creep up on it. So far, so good, Max. Did you hear that? There's something in the shower recess, Max. You look first. See your bug-eyed, noisy monster? You don't seem very scared. Oh, I see. Your bug-eyed, noisy monster is nothing more than a harmless toy bulldozer. Correction. A big bug-eyed, noisy runaway bulldozer. Run! <laughs> The bug-eyed, noisy monster will never find us. Huh? On the other hand... <laughs> Quick! The vanity unit! We've got to get up high! <laughs> What's all this commotion and fuss? There's a comb here trying to get some beauty sleep. There's a runaway bulldozer in the bathroom, Countess! And it's right behind us! Runaway bulldozer. Oh, is that all? A runaway bulldozer? Help! At least we're safe up here. What about the bulldozer? I guess it won't stop until its battery goes flat. But it might be a long life battery. By that time, it will have flattened the entire bathroom. Oh, then we're done for. Um. Yes, if you've got an idea, now is the time to air it. I can drive toy cars. I suppose I can drive a runaway bulldozer. Quick, draw his attention. Hey. Bulldozer! Yeah. Bulldozer! Yeah. Geronimo! Yeah. I've got control now. It's really no different to a toy car. What do you want done with the bulldozer? It can clean up all the mess it made for a start. Did you hear that, bulldozer? Get to it. <laughs> Nothing like your own tame bulldozer for keeping a bathroom clean and spotless. In fact, Countess, I don't know how we ever got along without a bulldozer to make our lives comfortable. Thank you, bulldozer. That's all right. Ha, 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 ha,